Madagascar, situated off the southern eastern coast of Africa, is the fourth largest island in the world and boasts one of the most unique environments. But despite a wealth of natural resources, the country remains one of the world's poorest and heavily dependent on foreign aid. In the last decade, social and environmental changes have driven many people in Madagascar to increasingly migrate within the country and abroad in search of opportunities. In response to this situation, the IOM Development Fund has been providing support to the government of Madagascar to address particular areas of migration management. Labour migration has always been a reality in Madagascar, but the number of departures increased significantly with the effects of the political crisis of 2009, when hundreds of thousands of jobs in the formal sector were lost. Neighbouring countries such as Mauritius, Seychelles and the Gulf countries became the main destinations for Malagasy workers employed in the domestic, textile, fishing and construction sectors. But the lack of a well-articulated pre-departure on-site paired with return policies for labour migration has led to many of these workers to be exploited due to irregular and uninformed migration. J'ai parti travailler à l'île Maurice comme un serpenté pour aller là-bas. Les personnes qui vont aller travailler là-bas, c'est qui ne savent pas de lire, mais il y, a des, il y a des contrats. Alors, comment est son salaire Les contrats, ça va durer combien de temps Est-ce qu'il est qu y a une personne qu'on peut parler ou un ambassadeur comme, ou un consultant comme ça Et alors, quand il y a des problèmes avec les, les gens qui travaillent là-bas, cela veut dire qu'ils il ne peuvent rien faire. In 2015, IOM Madagascar, with the financial support of the IOM Development Fund, launched a project to strengthen labour migration management in Madagascar and ensure the protection of migrant workers and their families in national policies. La migration de travail, donc, il y en a qui, qui viennent ici à Madagascar. Pourquoi pas? Pourquoi les Malgaches n'ont pas le droit d'aller ailleurs? Ce qu'a fait l'OIM, c'est de soutenir, donc d'appuyer, d'apporter leur contribution dans la réalisation de, de la politique donc, du gouvernement, sécurisation, protection et de l'individu qui va là-bas et de leur famille qui reste ici. To reach this goal, IOM and the Malagasy Ministry of Employment worked hand in hand to bring all the governmental and non-governmental actors to produce the first analysis of labour migration in Madagascar. In February 2016, the project concluded with the development of a roadmap to ensure that, by 2020, migration for the purpose of labour can be leveraged to benefit the country's development. Since its creation, the IOM Development Fund has implemented hundreds of successful capacity building projects worldwide. To learn more about the IOM Development Fund activities, please visit our website.